Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill Nevison. <laughs> what is good, YouTube? Your boy, Milt Nevison, back with another quick video. And today, well, I didn't keep my energy in terms of not getting the crimson. And you know what? Everybody was saying it was a hard to get shoe. It's in demand. Saw multiple people camping out. So I'm like, all right, well, this, this to me sounds like a challenge. So let me just put one entry in. And I put one entry in with Champ Sports. Um, and then that that happened, just like right now. So I want to say that this this shoe, as much as people want to say that it's, it's going to be hard to get, if you put the effort in, like I put one entry, literally one entry with Champ Sports, and a size 13, and it hit. So that tells me if I can do that, and I don't even have a bunch of points on my uh, Flex app, at least all the accounts when you put them together, that tells me you have a really, really good chance at copping this shoe, the Crimson, Red Thunder, whatever you want to call it. But here's why I, I went after this shoe. So I started looking at what Jordan brand, you'll probably see the video right here. Looking at it, you can see, Got the crimson right there. We're scrolling and I'm seeing the lineup and looking at it like there is nothing. The playoffs, maybe. The Cardinals, eh. The infrareds. Like when you look at the fours, racial blues kind of look nice. When you look at the four series that's coming out in the year 2022, it doesn't strike you. The canvas, which is women's exclusive, probably won't be getting that. Rebellion Air, that shoe looks nice. Then you got the Dale Souls, like an inverse of the Carmelo's 2012s. And I'm looking, and there was a couple of fours that's supposed to be coming out. You got the Zen Master. <laughs> and, of course, you got these patent CMFTs. And, oh, Jesus. But and looking at it, it's like, man, there's a lot of stuff that I'm really going to be skipping. I know I said I was going to skip the Red Thunders, but when you compare the Red Thunders to what else is coming out in, in the year 2022, at least for Jordan brand, you're going, what? Heritage actually might be a, a sleeper. Um, and then, of course, the you know, I got to get my 11s, man. 72 and 10. The Navies, eh, maybe. A lot of collabor some collaborations with the twos. And then I think there's one more four that's supposed to come out later on in the fall. Oh, Military Black, which got pushed back. Might actually, I might actually go after that. Might, even though I got the Oreos. Um, I'm looking at it and scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And I think when I got to the bottom, it was one last four. Yellow Toes, got to get that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Man, here we go. The olives. Then you got the, the canyons. And, and I'm looking at the fours like... <laughs> I mean, honestly. Oh, yeah. Court purples. Look. Foot Locker. I'm still waiting for that shipment. Had it. And, and Lord knows when I'm going to get these Red Thunders from Champs. But I get it. Stuff is backed up. But comment below, man. Let me know what you think about the Red Thunder. Because a lot of people really liked it. So... I just tried it. Just just one one app. I didn't do multiple, none of that. Just one app. Champs. And boom, it hit. So the only thing I'm worried about is what type of pair or what type of pairs I'm going to be getting. And I'm only saying that because there was a bunch of people that I contacted. I did a video about this, you know, like a month ago, close to a month ago, where I told people, check your pairs because... The rumors are true, and I do believe that the fact that these shoes were sitting out in the ocean somewhere, in a container, and just collecting so much humidity, it probably has so many damage stains, water stains on the shoe, and people don't even realize it. And then people, Some people think it's grade school. Some people think it may be some men's. All I'm saying is no matter what the size is, check your pairs, especially if you're going to pick it up. This is a ship to me option. So if it ships to me, and we're going to look, I'm not even going to open a box. I'm going to open it live, sort of, or well, live. I'm going to open it while I do the video of the, the whole unboxing and, and the review and everything. And I want to see you know, what happened. Am I, am I going to get a good pair or am I going to get something that's crappy? So we're going to, we're going to find out when, when that happens. But today is what, Friday, Saturday morning? Listen, guys, if you go after the shoe, good luck tomorrow. Um, Manual users, man, look, here's my advice. Go to Dick Sporting Goods. Try your best. Sneakers app, try your best. I know JD Sports is supposed to do some, some cue or whatever, even though it says 
exclusive access, but I do think it's supposed to drop on JD Sports Saturday morning. I want to say 10 o'clock Eastern. Don't, don't hold me to that. But Sneakers app, 10 o'clock, and Dick Sporting Goods, 10 o'clock. is probably your best bet at copping that shoe. But I do feel like a lot of people are going to hit on the Sneakers app because a lot of those shoes are still in stock for Nike. But <sighs> I, I'm sorry. Look, if I, if I compare Jordan Brand to what Yeezy is doing this year, I'm going to honestly say that I think that Yeezy is going to overtake Jordan Brand based off the selection of shoes that he's releasing this year. Granted, it ain't, it's not every single pair. It's not, it's not like the lineup we saw is not the 100% lineup that's going to be coming from Jordan Brand. I, I feel as though that there's shoes that we haven't seen just yet. And actually, I feel like there's some shoes that's dropping in 2022 that might be pushed back to 2023. So look out for that as well. I can ultimately guarantee that's going to happen towards the end of the year where shoes that were supposed to come out in the fall end up getting pushed back to the winter of next year. Look out for that. I'm not sure which pairs, but listen, your boy Milton Nipperson, he's hearing some things and it's already bad that I still didn't get the core purples yet. Core purples yet. But it's been what, a week, almost a week and a half? I ain't seen it. By the time I see the core purples on this channel, at least in hand, it's, I think it's going to be Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm not even joking around. I think the whole, because I did ship the home option, because based off where I am, you know, there's not many stores out here. But so when the Red Thunders come, I, I think, you know, at that point, Jordan Brand will probably come out with, it, like, you know, like the Green Thunders, the Yellow Thunders. Or actually, Yellow Thunders came out. But you get what I'm saying. It's going to be a while before I get these shoes based off the shipment issues that's going on, shipment delays. Watch out for that as well for everybody else that got shipped to home. But comment below. Let me know if you're going to kind of grab the, the Jordan 4 Red Thunders, the Crimson, whatever you want to call them. Because they, Jordan Brand has a knack of coming out with something. It's a good name that we come out, you know, like we, with well, the sneakerhead, sneaker community, I should say, comes out with. And then Jordan Brand just gives it like that upper echelon, you know, name and convention. Just like the, the Jordan 6 UNCs, I guarantee it's not going to be called that. He, they're going to call it like baby powder, blue, baby diaper, whatever the hell it is. They're just going to change it up. You know what I'm saying? But your boy, Mo Nimson, I am out. Hopefully when a Jordan 4, Crimson, Red Thunder, when it comes in, hopefully it's a pair we can actually review and it looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> I am out. You guys, stay blessed.